Hello, what's up, Rockers? This is your boy, King No Worries from Kingdom 2095. So, we're back again from some, some contents. So, again, this content is about castle or VIP levels. So, as you can see, I now VIP 14. Yes, yes, yes. I'm very proud of myself. So, again, this is about the VIP levels and castle so first i want you to show you the stats you can get from the vip so first if you get new to the game you must invest also to your vip levels especially in the early game so because in level one from zero to level one you can get some good production gathering speed also as you can see in level 2, you can get some 5% action recovery, building speed. But the most special in the early game is you're able to reach the VIP 6, which unlock your second building. Uh, quick, 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 quick. <laughs> what the fuck? So again, aside from getting some exclusively buffs from VIP, you can also get or, or purchase some... Um, uh, some stuff here is like this one uh, you can buy minamoto heads so in the first in the first you will purchase the first bundle of course from minamoto which about i think uh in peso in philippines is about 50 pesos so in us it's about a dollar one dollar in us uh, yeah yeah that's it so you can buy those stuff here also in VIP every day, you can unlock this chest to get some VIP points. So I think if you con uh, consecutive logins, you can get about 200 VIP points. Yeah, yeah, like this. You can get 200 VIP points per day. Again, aside from that, you can get some good stuff every day. So let's go back from our buff. So in level six, you can get some additional in the building. In early game it gives a big help for you to build uh build your your uh, buildings so in level seven additional hospital capacity 10 percent and training speed in sunset cannon plus additional two attempts action points recovery and research speed in vip8 this this stuff is a really really big help especially in early game early game you're going to do is train groups uh do some research also also action points recovery gives you a boost or much more recovery for your action points because you're going to do grind also grind barbarians to make to make uh pick up some or loot some good stuff from barbarians also leveling leveling your commander so again uh vip9 you get additional uh hospital capacity and another sunset sunset canyon pre attempts and this is uh this is starting of the best of the ba so in vip 10 you can get building speed again and training speed but in your everyday preaches you can get now an additional one legendary commander sculpture which is this is a very very good uh pre pre rewards every day we all know that it's really hard to get some golden uh legendary sculpture head so it so every one pieces a day is a big help to uh to level up your commander skill of course to make your commander much more stronger and better so vip 10 if you're in early game and even your low spender or free to free to play player i think the best investment is to reach the vip 10 as faster as you can so i think for me uh, for me you can skip the castle why first of all if you're a low spender or a free to play player uh p5 is still a very very long we all know that Castle is a prerequisite to make your 
Academy Level 25. And that Level 25 Academy is the prerequisite to unlock your T5. Which is, we all know to be honest, if you're a free-to-pay player or a slow spender, it will take a month. A month, I mean. A big month. I mean, I don't. It depends on how you grind. So it doesn't matter if even you're free to play or low spender or middle spender. Middle spender, just low spender and free to play. It depends how you grind. Every day it depends how you grind. But reaching VIP 10 level is a very, very good job. If you're a very, very good goal, I mean. So again, level 10 and next is level 11. Which is you're gonna get a gathering speed, hospital capacity, and of course the five percent attack. This five percent attack will boost all kind of your troops. So it means a uh, siege, archer, infantry, and cavalry. So it has no specification or what kind of troops that it means. It this is both for your all kind of troops. So again, sunset. Sunset Canyon pre attempts additional one again to make it plus four. Again, VIP 12. So this is another good VIP level, which is your pre daily chest. You can get about two legendary sculptures. So imagine that if you get a level VIP 12 in your early game, for example, in your first two months or three months, imagine how you can save a lot of legendary commander for the future for example you are targeting some legendary commander that is still in about 100 days or 150 days for example you want to have a alexander or ysg also if if you get in vip 12 or vip 10 in early you can save more and more legendary sculpture for your future so imagine that guys aside from two legendary sculpture you can get additional five percent action recovery points so to make it 20 percent also research speed 15 percent and troops defense plus five percent so again there is no indicate indication or what kind of troop so this is applied for all of your troops so Next is VIP 13. So it's also saying you get two pieces of legendary commander, but it gives you additional hospital capacity and troop health. And another one free attempt for your Sunset Canyon to make it five. So we all know the, the troop health is the best stats of the game because you can get attack in your technology, uh, in your alliance technology, but Health is the hardest stats in, to get. So again, VIP 13. And of course, VIP 14. So this is low spender or free to pay player or especially like me, I'm a low, low middle spender or something like that. Oh, you can call me occasional spender. So this is a dream for me or a very good go to me to get this VIP 14 because you can get Three legendary sculpture. Imagine every day when you woke up, you get three legendary sculpture. So the feelings is awesome. So again, additional stats: the gathering speed, also the troops capacity, and the mid material production speed by five percent. So this is a very good stat. So again, for free to play player or low spender, think carefully. Think carefully. If you want to invest from VIP or if you want to go for castle, make sure if you want to go for castle, make sure that you are almost T5 or your technology or all of your technology is almost max level. So, for example, you are uh, a little a little away to get your unlock T5. So that is the best way to spend or or to invest for your castle. But it it's still long. I mean, you didn't level some of this stuff. It's still far away. 
I think the better way is to spend your gems or your your or to invest for the VIP. That is for me is the best uh, the, the best choice you're going to make because example you reach you reach a castle or you make your castle level 25 i know you can unlock some building also you can get if you make your academy to level 25 you can get additional stats something like this wait a minute you can get additional um seven percent research speed bonus so it big helps so if you're going to push it can reduce the amount of speed that you're going to use but also remember you can also get that uh increase speed up for this uh vip levels again for me think carefully if you're going to t5 anyway or if you're ready to go for t5 go for castle if you're a rally leader go for castle because castle is going to be your way for t5 but t5 is that not easy we all know that t5 is very expensive so if you are going to t5 or you're going to invest for your castle make sure you are ready you are resources ready you have farmers so if you're a spender it doesn't matter to you we all know that if you're a mega whale doesn't matter you can spend whatever you like for, for a free to pay player or low spender or for like me a occasional player i think it's the best way to invest is the vip that's that's what i'm thinking that that's what i do i think that is the best way vip first than castle if i reach if you reach vip 14 go for the castle so that's what i think but it depends on your opinion. I don't know what your opinion, but that's for my opinion. So make sure if you're going to get your castle, you are almost T5. And you're T5 ready. You have a good commander. So also be AP 14, giving you a three legendary sculptures every day. It gives you a boost or save more to level up your future commander or your currently commander project so for me vip and then castle some people will say yeah why why vip so it depends upon situation so that i giving you some cases that you almost t5 go to castle if you have a good commander of course go to castle so so that's what i'm saying so again i'm gonna show you how i reach uh day 14 so I reached VIP 14 yesterday. Actually, this is a big, uh, late video <laughs> or something. I'm going to show you how I reached VIP 14 because I spent a lot of chips. Some people are going to say, why you don't wait for MTG? I, I calculate everything. So MTG is about maybe a four days from now because last week MTG just pops up. For sure, it's about 30 to 40. If I'm going to do some VIP 14 now, and I, I will get about 30, 30 legendary sculpture, and I'm going to grind again to get some gem for the upcoming MTG. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is how I spent my gem last night. I'm going to show you guys. So I told you I'm occasionally spender only. I spend when I need it. Because I want to push VIP 14, so look at my gem around tell it's about 200,000. And I just reached my VIP 13 160 days, so two days ago. So I and I still have a lot of uh, VIP points, so I spend it and I reach about 42,000 VIP points. And there you go, my spending spree. Uh, when I click those those purchase, I want my heart. But it's okay, VIP 14. It's a, I know it's a, it's a good choice that I made. So that's what I do. I spend my gem directly to reach VIP 14 so I can get three legendary heads and I get the additional exclusive debuffs. V 
because our KDK now is about upcoming. Also, you can see my power is about only low power and about 26 million power. Why? Because I'm saving a lot of speed ups. My speed up right now is about 800 days. And when people can say, what the fuck are you saving your speed ups? I want to use my speed ups in some events so I get some additional rewards. So in Tagal, I want to make my uh, speed ups make solid. So I want to make it solid. So I don't want to use my speed ups that I won't get even a little rewards or example gold heads. I, everyone should do that. I know whales, whales have mega spenders don't do that much. But for us, low spender or medium spender like us, so it's good to save your heads or something. Don't, uh, don't spend your speed ups um, with no events, I think, something like that. So this is my speed up right now. I'm spending a lot. I computed about 800 days for the research. Research plus the generic because... Of course, I'm focusing for my technology. I'm waiting for some event. Um, maybe speed up events you're going to. I get some a little go, uh, golden heads. I'm happy for that. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Also, uh, for my next content, I'm going to level up my Saladin. I'm going to make my Saladin 5511. I'm going to um, equip or to forge some um, good equipment from Saladin, also a good accessory. So that's all again, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna to say you guys, think carefully. I know you have your own decision. I'm just trying to give you what I did or, um, uh, what do you mean? In Tagalog, uh, uh, idea, idea how you, how you choose between VIP or Castle. So again, that's all. Thank you so much, guys. Yo, this is your boy again. Ignore worries. Peace out.